We've hit seven straight days of closures along I-70. By now, you've already seen significant increases in gas prices, gas stations with gas shortages, and items missing from stores, as the closures impact transit and freight from traveling east to west through Colorado. Yeah, and it's unlikely that we see any of this resolved in the near future. Now, 70 is still closed to all traffic through Glenwood Canyon after last week's mudslides. New video gives an up-close look at the damages. Now, there are parts of eastbound I-70, which CDOT describes as completely gone. However, significant progress has been made in cleaning up the 8 to 10 feet of mud, which is seen in some sections. And now CDOT is removing huge piles of boulders, which came down on the road. As cleanup progresses, CDOT has no timeline for reopening because there is still so much work to be done. I would say it would take several weeks to maybe even months to get this uh, section back to where it was. Now it's possible we could see some kind of temporary solution to help get traffic flowing again, but even that won't be a quick fix and it would take time to complete. The closure of the highway is not only a concern for Colorado, but the entire region. So much so, the U.S. Transportation Secretary says the federal government is ready to step in and help. We're going to do everything that we can to be supportive. Uh, you know, when you have a major roadway like that go out, and by the way, it's also impacted the, the Zephyr line on, on Amtrak, so there's a ra rail piece to this. The disruption is immense, and again, it's a reminder of just how important it is to secure and improve our infrastructure for the future. Secretary Buttigieg also says the proposed infrastructure bill making its way through the U.S. Senate will significantly benefit Colorado and improve the state's roads and bridges. Well, the bipartisan infrastructure deal represents at least $3.7 billion in road funding for the state of Colorado alone. And as the I-70 shutdown is demonstrating, we, we count on our roads, major ones and minor ones, just as we count on bridges, ports and airports, and everything else that's part of our transportation infrastructure. Jared, Governor Jared Polis announced earlier this week he plans to ask the president for a federal disaster declaration for I-70. It would send even more money and resources to the state. The declaration also authorizes the use of the Colorado National Guard for traffic control and debris removal.